Hi you guys. I didn't come on TikTok yesterday. I don't I, I didn't really feel like baking yesterday. So I got on with me vinted. If you're on vinted, have a look at me page. I'm called Baker Nan. Um I've been putting all sorts on. I've been selling stuff, I've been buying stuff. I love it. I've just bought for Jesse some Nike Jordans high tops in white, black and red. I'll show them you when they come. Guess how much for? £10. And they look in great nick. £10 and then it's like, it's £11 some of them because they put that protection on it. And then you pay for postage, which is three pounds. So altogether, they've cost me like fifteen. But fifteen for Jordans. Jessie's going to be very pleased. Last night we went to the cinema. It was good. It was brilliant. Despicable Me for recommend it. Never lets me down. Despicable Me and Minions love it. Got popcorn for Jesse and Frankie, and I'm dipping me hands in. Next thing, crunch. Cracked a tooth again on a full kernel that hadn't popped. Cracked my tooth. These four teeth at the front, they drive me insane. They break all the time. So that's going to cost me another 70 quid this week to cut at dentist for her to stick a piece on, to glue a little piece of whatever she glues on. 70 quid. And I got a fine through the post yesterday. Apparently I went down a bus lane. They're always changing it in Preston. And now a road I've always gone down apparently is now a bus lane. £35. So that's £100 gone for nothing, for a bit of tooth and a bloody fine for driving down frigging bus lane. Didn't even know it was a bus lane. Right, well I've decided I'm making some ginger cookies because I love ginger biscuits. These are for me. They're quite crunchy but not too crunchy but nice and soft as well. Like chewy, proper cookies but ginger. I made them a few weeks back. But I put too much ginger in and being clever I wanted them to taste proper gingery but they were too gingery so I'm not going to be that clever today. And now I met these in my food processor. So in there I want 50 grams of butter which I've already chopped up and cubed. Honest to God, what a bloody week. And I want 110 grams of plain flour. I'm dropping everything, I know. One good thing, my hands are alright. 110 grams of plain flour. I used to buy ginger biscuits. There's only me likes them. So, I used to buy myself some ginger cookies. But you know what? Why do I do that? Because these in the food processor are delicious. So, that goes in as well. Forty grams of sugar. You can always double this recipe if you want to make more. I forgot how many this makes, but you can always double it. Forty grams in there. You want your ground ginger? Can't make ginger biscuits without it. One and a half teaspoons. Last time I made it, I put three teaspoons of ginger in. Far too much. They burnt my tongue. One and a half teaspoons. A 
baking powder. I've used salted butter by the way, but if you're using unsalted, put half a teaspoon of salt in here as well, but I'm using salted, I always use salted. Right, and now I want 50 grams of golden syrup. Oh, I've only got a bit left, I hope I've got 50 grams. the lid off. Silly me. I forgot I bought some other day. Got plenty of golden syrup. So you want 50 grams of golden syrup to mix in with you. Dry ingredients. My Kirsty took uh, Frankie to Trafford Centre this morning. Now you're just going to roll this so I'm greased and lined a tray, baking tray. So roll this into little balls and place them on your baking tray. You can make them as big or as small as you like. Kirsty and Kirsty took Frankie to Trafford Centre is at a sportsman's dinner on uh, Wednesday, this Wednesday coming. Sportsman's dinner with school. He's got a suit. She's bought him a suit, a navy blue suit, waistcoat, trousers, waistcoat, pants, wait for it, a pink bow tie. It looks all right, Bobby Dazzler in it. She sent me a photo of him. Honestly, he's a rum and he's Frankie. He's the one I call our Del boy. He cleans my car out for me for a tenner. He valets my car. He makes a really good job of it as well. But do you know what he wanted to do? I have one of those Henry Hoovers. And... Uh, he wanted to drag me over around, around my clothes, asking people if they want the cars hoovering out. Dragging me over around clothes. I said, no chance. Said, well, how am I going to do it then? I said, I don't know. Make some leaflets. Make some leaflets and post them through the letterboxes. <laughs> Not dragging me Henry all around bloody clothes. I'd have no hoover left. Tell me finished. 